Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Richard here. Thank you all 72 of you that have subscribed so far. Please keep clicking below. Could do with those numbers going up. When I had the idea that I was going to start making vlogs, I thought it was going to be quite an easy job. Um, I thought it would come naturally and uh, it, just doing what the things I enjoy, maybe talk about it to camera would, would be quite easy and it isn't. Um, these bits especially I find quite difficult, these almost like a newscaster bits um, to the camera. Um, there are people that it seems to come natural to like um, Scotland's Mountains, Murray from there, and um, Simon, the bloke in the woods. Uh, when he speaks to camera, you just feel like you're having a conversation with the person and you feel like you're sort of in the in the room there with them. And it's it's a real knack that I certainly haven't got yet. I'm going to keep trying. Um, I had a couple of comments about my last video that when I was out trying the food at the top of a hill, I was I was more sort of in the environment I felt comfortable with. And therefore, um, talking about what I've just been doing and what I've been doing with a drone and so on came a bit more naturally and I was able to sort of laugh as though I was having the conversation with someone I knew. Um, I think the best thing is to keep these bits quite short. So what we have here is another cooking video. And one of the recipes that I've always wanted to try, and it's one of my favourite dishes, is a Thai red chicken curry. And the reason I haven't been trying it to dehydrate is because two particular elements of the recipe have a very high fat and oil content and they come predominantly from the red curry paste and if you ever buy red curry paste in the supermarket you'll see in the top of the jar there's usually about five mil layer of oil on the top which when it comes to dehydration it's uh, not something you want to, in the mixture. Uh, the other thing is the coconut milk or coconut cream that is uh, traditionally added to the recipe. The name milk cream obviously suggests that that has a pretty high fat content. So I wanted to somehow make one with a very, very low fat content. And one of the things I've come across is this um, coconut milk powder, uh, which is vegan, dairy free, um, gluten free, GMO free, don't know what that means. But importantly, the whole pack, which is 250 grams, um, contains eight grams of fat, which really isn't a lot more than you'd use if, for instance, you were just frying up an onion for a, another recipe. Um, and the other thing is I'm going to make the red curry paste from scratch um, so that I know no extra oil actually goes into it. So I'll give that a go and let's get cooking. So I was going to use some jasmine rice here and I made about enough for five helpings as per the instructions. I've got these sort of rubberized grills for my dehydrator which are fantastic. They won't work for something very liquid like a soup or anything like that but for sort of thick sauces and especially for rice they're excellent. After the rice was cooked I spread it out on my dehydrator trays nice and thinly. Put it in the dehydrator set it to about 55 degrees turned it on and left it to do its job. Whilst the rice was dehydrating, I sliced up five cooked chicken breasts, put the mixture in a bowl, and then gave it a generous sprinkling of desiccated coconut. I covered the whole mixture in cling film and put it in the fridge to marinate overnight. There we go.
perfect. Now that the rice was done and the dehydrator was free, it was time to take out the chicken and divide that amongst the dehydrator trays. Meat needs a slightly higher temperature than vegetable based products uh, for dehydrating, so I set it to about 65 degrees. So although this picture shows a massive amount of ingredients, I thought a little bit on my feet and therefore the exact amount of everything I used will be listed below the video description. But I began with de-seeding and chopping up three red peppers. And then de-seeding and chopping five red chilies. I used a whole bulb of garlic, roughly chopped. And after removing the outer layer of skin, I chopped up four lemongrass stalks. About a two and a half inch piece of ginger, peeled and then chopped roughly. Everything was gonna go into the liquidizer anyway, so the size of the cuts didn't really make any difference. I used six or seven, I think they're called scallions, but they're a type of shallot. And then added some turmeric. And coriander. Some cumin seeds. and then two packs of cashew nuts. And then I seasoned the mixture with some salt and pepper. I then sliced one lemon and one lime and added the juice to the mixture. and I gave the mixture a good stir to blend all those flavors together. And I gave all of the mixture a good blitz and liquidizer to form a smooth paste. So here we are. The base of the red curry. Um, I made quite a lot more than I expected because um, when you buy these jars, it just says <laughs> two or three dessert spoons per curry. Um, and that, as you can see by the scale of my hand, is an, is an awful lot of red curry paste. However, um, it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. I'll give it a taste. What a wallop. That's a lot of chilli. <laughs> um, it, it certainly needs the coconut milk. So I'll have a go at cooking this down now and adding quite a lot of coconut milk to it and then have a go at dehydrating. Well, let's see how the chicken's gone. That's uh, pretty good. So with the theme being coconut, just a few squirts of um, 
coconut oil into the pan. So I let the pan get pretty hot before adding the red curry paste. I let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so, making sure I stirred it regularly so that the paste didn't burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. It's worth adding now that uh, during this process I decided not to make up any coconut milk because I thought, what's the point in uh, making a solution of coconut milk using the powder and then dehydrating it? I thought, I'll just add the powder once I've uh, dehydrated the red curry paste. So it's just made three trayfuls, which is less than I thought, but it's so concentrated that I think um, dividing that into five and then mixing it with the coconut uh, milk or coconut powder will make it uh, a decent size helping. Well, this has been on overnight, so fingers crossed. That's looking pretty good. That's what we're after. So I had three separate sets of ingredients. I had my rice, I had the dehydrated chicken with the desiccated coconut, and I had my sauce. I weighed each mixture and divided by five and then made a list, as you can see there, of the quantities per helping. And there we have it. Five generous helpings of what I hoped to be was delicious Thai red chicken curry. Well, I was very much hoping to be on the way up to Glen Feshi this evening with my brother, but the weather forecast has turned out to be probably the, about the worst two days uh, of the winter so far. So that's not gonna happen. So unfortunately the taste test for my Thai red chicken curry has to be done in here. I decided not to um, dilute this coconut powder and thought I'd add it to the mixture uh, as I rehydrated it. So I've got 30 grams here of the coconut powder, which I'll try. That's the coconut uh, milk powder packet there. I'll try adding that uh, to the process and see how it works. I've also got some loads of crispy fried onions which I'm planning on just adding a couple to uh, when uh, to the mixture when the cooking's complete. So let's get on with the cooking. I'm going to put in 30 grams of coconut milk. But I think I'll put in a little bit more water. So there's about 400 millilitres of water now. After it came to the boil, I gave it a good stir before turning off the heat and putting the pan in a pot cosy for just over 10 minutes. Always a bit nerve wracking this bit, but it's had just over 10 minutes and time to see what it looks like. 
and that I think looks pretty acceptable. Well, here we go then with the taste test. Looks pretty good. It's a decent helping. <laughs> right, here we go. Thai red chicken curry. I will say it, it's, it's delicious. It's a heck of a pot full of food. Um, I might actually, I've got four more helpings. Um, bags about that size. I reckon that's, that's actually too much food. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these four helpings. I'm going to tip them out of the bags and make them into five. And that was about 400 millilitres of water. So I guess if I make them into five, then it'll be about 350 mils of water needed for each one. But that is a delicious curry. I'm, again, really pleased. Um, so I hope you follow this recipe. Sorry I couldn't be cooking this and eating this outdoors, but that's just the way of the weather. Mmm. Ah. Here it is. Dog food. Mm. See what this is like. Don't bother with the onions, not needed. Don't spoil it, but they don't add anything to it. As a little bit of an extra to this video, myself and my brother braved the weather today and decided to go for about an eight mile walk up the hills here in Yorkshire. We took some of the chicken curry with us. And although the pictures show me looking pretty cold and wrapped up, it was very, very enjoyable. And one of the things interestingly that we both agreed on was that the chicken really didn't add anything to the meal itself, apart from a little bit of extra and possibly actually unwanted texture. It didn't have any particular taste to it. So I think if I'm going to make this again, which I certainly will, um, I'll just use all the ingredients um, that I have and leave the chicken out because it's just as tasty without. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I look forward to you tuning in again.